Let me tell you a secret about smartphones. Here are the world's top five largest smartphone makers. Samsung, Huawei, Apple, Xiaomi, and Oppo. This is taken out of Texas.com top 10 smartphone brands in the world 2020, based on volume of sales in extension, popularity. Together, these brands are forecasted to have sold 221 million units by the end of 2020. Here is what we are going to do in this video. We are going to take a dive into top flagship smartphones of the top five brands in the world, side by side for specs, features and prices, and you will see how the new Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra major up against the competition, spilling the beans and unveiling one of the most strategically guarded secrets about these big phones. Get ready to know the truth with me, your public tech advisor on update. Let's get you up to date. Now, just focus on the top five. Let's look at their top flagship phones. Beginning with number one, Samsung, the Galaxy S20 Ultra and the recent Note 20 Ultra. They both come with 6.9 inch display, 108 megapixel, triple and quad camera, 12 gig RAM for Note 20 Ultra and 12 gig and 16 gig RAM variant for the S20 Ultra. 5,000 milliampere hour battery for S20 Ultra and 4,500 milliampere hour battery for Note 20 Ultra. Their prices, $1,400 for S20 Ultra and $1,300 for the Note 20 Ultra. Remember, the Note comes with the S Pen. Okay, keep that aside. Number two, Huawei. The P and the Med series are their flagships. For 2020, we have the latest P40 Pro Plus and the Med 30 Pro for, from last year. Med 40 is still yet to come. P40 Pro Plus comes with 6.58 inch display, 50 megapixel, 5 camera, 8 gig RAM and 4200 mAh battery. The Med 30 Pro comes with 6.53 inch display, 40 megapixel, 4 camera, 8 gig RAM and 4500 mAh battery. P40 Pro Plus cost $1,350 and Med 30 Pro cost $1,200. Number 3, Apple. They have just the mighty iPhone, the latest of which is iPhone 11 Pro Max, released September 2019, expecting iPhone 12 at the same time this year. The iPhone 11 Pro Max comes with 6.5 inch display, 12 megapixel triple camera setup, 4 gig RAM and 3969 mAh battery cost from $1,100 for the 64 gig to $1,450 for the 512 gig. Now, for the sake of the present argument, let's skip the subject of the video. Number four, Xiaomi. We'll come back to it shortly. Number five, Oppo. Their latest top flagship is Find X2 Pro, released May 6th. The Find X2 Pro comes with 6.7 inch display, 48 megapixel triple camera setup, 12 gig RAM, and 4,260 milliampere hour battery. It cost $950. Now take a look at our comparison side by side so far from number one, two, three, and five. Now let's slot in the number four and complete the whole. Xiaomi has the Mi series as their flagship and they just launched the Mi 10 Ultra. Look at where it's got. 6.67 inch display, 48 megapixel, four camera setup, eight to 16 gig RAM variant, 4,500 milliampere hour battery, and guess how much it cost? $770. Now, before we go back to the comparison, let me put the Mi 10 Ultra more into perspective so you can get my demeanor. This device is a flagship challenger in all ramifications and at a price of a mid-ranger. Assembled in Xiaomi's own smart factory, announced August 11th as Xiaomi marks their 10th anniversary. The Mi 10 Ultra comes with a 10-bit display, 6.67 inch OLED with 120 Hz refresh rate. Aluminium frame protected by a Gorilla Glass 5 front and back. Snapdragon 865 processor with 8, 12, and 16 gig RAM variant. 128, 256, and 512 gig UFS 3.1 storage. The camera, wait for it, 48 megapixel wide angle main lens with EIS and OIS. 20 megapixel 120 times ultra zoom telephoto lens. 20 megapixel 128 degrees ultra wide angle macro lens and 12 megapixel portrait camera with 6p 2x optical zoom and autofocus. With 
AI mode, night mode, shoot steady mode, vlog mode, and 960 frames per second macro slow motion video mode. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Let's go. It goes on to have a battery capacity of 4,500 mAh with 120 watts fast charge, first ever in a smartphone that can do 41% in 5 minutes and 100% in 23 minutes. Wireless fast charging at 50 watts that can do 100% in 41 minutes and 10 watts reverse wireless charge. That's not all. It comes in obsidian black, mercury silver, and wait for it, transparent edition. All for a starting price of $770 and ended at $1,000 for the highest variant, 16 gig RAM, 512 gig storage. Available now in mainland China, for the rest of the world, well, we will wait to hear when Xiaomi announces that. Remember, Xiaomi products are available in more than 90 markets around the world. So back to our top 5 comparison, let's slot in the number 4. Now forget about specs and features because all of them work, but what's more important now is what price are you willing to pay for the value provided, then the brand you want to be associated with, the brand value, then finally availability in your own local market or the ease and ability of shipping it right to your doorsteps. Whatever you end up choosing, the Mi 10 Ultra is a smartphone worthy of recognition in the tech universe for a brand of 10 years that is ranked 422nd, the youngest on the Fortune Global 500 list of 2020 and 384th on the Forbes Global 2000 list. Now look at the comparison. What can you see? Are they all the same? What differentiates them? You can tell me in the comment section below, but here is my take. The secret is there is always the right price for you in the smartphone world because price is actually your perception and not the size of your pocket. Hope you enjoyed this video because I certainly do. With me, your public tech advisor, thank you for watching. Until the next one, cheers.